let's get started here. We're gonna take this character to the ultimate and level him up to 94. Here we go. I mean, while leveling, the dirge is really fast, I would say. It's actually really fast. Like, dual wield, you build it correctly, it's just... Probably like, the fastest way to level. So we got almost all, all of our resistances capped, right? Like, but, no, it's actually... Wait, I thought I had these, like, kinda on point. Oh no, we're missing the augments here. We're missing the ring augments, and, uh... Oh. Why is it a matter so bad? Hmm. We need to fix this after the first quest here. Skalilus. Hey, how are you, man? I'm new to the game and I was watching the build of Kennison from Sorceress and I was wondering... Oh, is it that distribution? Actually, I'm focused mainly on physique. Um, you can just, like, below the video, there should be, like, in the video description, there should be a link for like, the Grim Tools. And in that Grim Tools link, you can just check out, like, how many points I spent where. Like, just hover over... Um, the attributes, right? Alright, this is the build. And uh, then you can just hover over here and you see, yeah. 107 points into physique, 0 points to cunning, 0 points to the spirit. At least on this build. And you might be wondering why I'm still able to equip the 200 on, the 200 range weapon. Well, I have Hawk, which reduces the cunning requirement for range weapons. And I'm also using Uzuin's uh, chest. And the chest also has like a reduction to cunning for range weapons. So yeah, you can just go all in on physique and it should be fine. Um, also like, I mean while leveling you can also like put some points into cunning if you maybe don't have like enough cunning to equip a weapon that you would like to equip for example. Um, or like use some points for spirit if you don't have like enough spirit for some jewelry maybe. Um, because you can always use like a potion uh, attribute to respect potion later on. At least when you have like first expansion at least. Um, and you can like respect all of your attributes again. Oh, and welcome.
Oh yeah, I might just fix my element resistance when I get like the ring from ultimate here. Like I got this ring that I'm using right now, um, primary ring from Elite, right? It's like level 45 ring. And you can just do the same quest in ultimate and you will get a level 75 ring, which is like the same one but like has better resistances. So that might help me also with my element elemental resistances here. Especially having like low fire is really scary. Like usually you always want like elemental resistances are probably the most important to max out. Especially fire. And yeah, you need like three slot necklaces. I have like still four left from Elite, so I can just go over here. And here's Torven. Uh, will give me another ring. We got, well, okay. Only 2% more elemental resistance. That's kind of low, but I guess I'll take it. Um, like, it's, you have to, like, it's usually only really worth it to, like, farm two shards and that's it, for example, 50 to 51, 60 to 61, 65 to 66, 75 to 76, stuff like that, right? Um, or, like, 35 to 36. That's, like, the best, like, value per shard. But in order to like proceed, like when you're like um, doing SR for the first time, you should probably cash out like every five or like every six shards, right? Like you should do like I don't know, like one to ten, or maybe I don't know, like one to ten is probably really easy for you, right? So you do like one to fifteen, then you get like the next um, no, one to twenty actually, right? Yeah, one to twenty, then you get like the next uh, waystone. Then you can do like 20 to 25, cash out, start 25 again, 25 to 30, cash out, start 30 again, 35 to 30, like 30 to 35, and so on. But you can proceed like um, doing like 6 shards at a time. Yo Stan, how are you? Welcome. Shards itself, like, yeah, what about them? <clears throat> like, once you um, hit, say, shard fifty. Farming becomes way more worth it than like for the lower shards. Like lower shards are not really worth farming. Like you have to just do lower shards in order to like get to the higher shards. Once you're like at shard 50 or higher, then farming SR really becomes worth it. Like 50 to 51 is really good. 55 to 56 is probably also really good. 60 to 61 is good. 5 to 66 is really, really good, etc. Crucible? <laughs> oh my god, look. I actually do some Crucible every now and then as well, but it's not that common, common for me to do Crucible. 
Not at all. Oh yeah, we need to like go back, right? Like we should have like went back already after like the very first quest here, right? So an ultimate, especially when you have like 55 devotions already, you can just skip this part here. Um, but I guess I don't have my scrap with me, so <laughs> never mind that. Okay, let's go back here. Yeah, we can just sell this as well, it's okay. And now, uh, what do we want here? We want... More elemental resistance, right? I guess, first of all, we want, like, a corpse dust on uh, this. Oh, you gotta do the blessing quest. Oh. <laughs> Good luck. Here we go. Okay, Aether is fixed now. But the elemental is still bad. Like, why is it so bad? Is it bad? Oh yeah, belt. Belt, belt, belt. Invoker's burning hair. Huh? This one has a lot of uh, element resistance actually. Wait, what about Seed of the Royal Crown? Um, yeah, this should work. Huh? Except for Lightning, uh, uh, Cold. Oh, the shit, why is this so hard? <laughs> How did I forget to like check my element resistance before going here? It's kind of bad. I guess we fix it like this, right? We put more points to the mental awakening, that's how we, how we fix it. Okay, so we... yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta yeah, like, retrieve some pawns here and there, I guess. More pawns here. 72, and this gives me... points. 9%, and we're like at 81, like 80% when I'm attacking. I think I want some more points to Elemental Awakening, just to be safe. <coughs> Yeah. 
There we go. Yeah, that's good now. It was crucible or farming the ugly blooms. Oh. Ah, hold on. Okay. Could have just waited for this level up, okay. Um let's put these here again. I guess Crucible is sometimes more exciting than Agnum Bloom farming at least. Huh? Like I don't mind doing Crucible maybe like once a month or something. It's, it's okay if you do it like this. I, I really can't do it like every day or every week even. It's like a once in a month thing for me. Fist of the Venom Blade, wait. That's like the perfect weapon for this character, are you kidding me? Why am I finding stuff like this on this character? Okay, I guess I'm like switching out. <laughs> One of my weapons after all. It's a lucky find. I hope you will be just as lucky when you find, like when you level your uh, dervish. Finding Fist of the Venom Blade, like the best in slot weapon while leveling. Seems good. I mean, it's not the mythical one, but. It's very nice. For me, in my current situation, it's like way better than the mythical one anyway. So, we did get the ring? No, we didn't get the ring. No, we lost ring this time. Uh, but yeah, do I switch this for my life steal weapon? Third round. Oh, this one is 11% obviously as well. Holy moly. Okay. Um, nice. Uh, we can just put another vitriolic there, right? We don't actually need poison resistance in this act that badly. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, three, four, five, six. Okay. It's a little bit complicated here.
Because once we are like revered with um, Devil's Crossing, we will switch out these 10% Aether Resistance Augments for 12% Aether and 12% Chaos Resistance Augments, right? And yeah, from that moment on we will not have any Chaos or Aether Resistance problems anymore. Speaking of luck, I was looking for the Nightblade in my belt with Glacial of Attack. The first try I got Rhyme Frost of Protection. <laughs> Holy shit. It's really good, yeah. Congrats, man. Yeah, I would like one of those for my uh, Soul Rent Reaper as well. Okay, yeah, Rhyme Frost of Protection. Yeah, I will take that. Let's actually kill this guy, right? We skipped him in normal and elite, but... Let's actually kill him. What the... Why did I use a cluster? <laughs> That's so bad. Let my blade bury up. Man, the internal trauma is kind of scary though, on this guy. Leveling with Lokar's out with no armor and no physical resistance. Have to be careful about sometimes 9% physical rest. Yeah, internal trauma is kicking in big time. I guess I should invest more points into uh, the dual wield line, right? Dual blades to get more physical resistance. Yeah, like dual, uh, dual blades and ascension. Like one point of resilience are gonna be like my priorities for now. Stuff that you bought at the bit more. <laughs> I mean, on the next patch, they are actually gonna um, also buff faction items, right? So, like, buying stuff from at least faction vendors will be even better than now. If we are looking for Algrim here, where am I going? I actually don't know where I'm going right now. Oh, there's the boat. Yeah, he's at the boat, right? And now I'm also looking to kill two big zombies here, right? Or like any elite on it.
So yeah, one point in resilience, one point here, like 5 out of 10, like 5 out of 12 is like the sweet spot for resilience. Uh, it's either 5 or 11, but you should have at least 5 points there. Yeah, even at like 80% resistance of these like fire zombies exploding. Start to hurt a bit. Start to hurt a bit more in ultimate, definitely. This is so weird. I don't know when that started happening, but... Like, before the character would just go, like, towards the destructible war from the right, but now he, like, ports around. I don't know why. It's happened, like, three times already to me. Yeah, get the fabric. Fabric 1, fabric 2. And the uh, fabric 3, maybe here, actually. Oh, yes. Oh, what happens to you? Hmm. Interesting. Usually you want to either go here or you want to go here. But actually, this time both of the ways are blocked, so you have to go down to the, through the center. Right? Yeah, Dervish is certainly a <laughs> rather squishy class. Bro, like it's uh, it's tankier than say a witch, like a witch hunter, but not that much. Also, oh, why the fuck were these not summoned? Wait, what? Oh yeah, because I switched around my weapon. Oops. Whenever you like, take off some gear, it's gonna like despawn those uh, player skill summons, right? Or like any pets here. Yeah.
Hey Dakota, how are you? Come on, what? Ne moi deska? Ah, so das. So das oder. Hmm. Ah, how how do you say that again? Is this correct grammatically? Like, ne moi, ne moi, ne moi. Ne ma kere ba nara nai. Like the thing, like you have to sleep. Like no, like shogunai now. Have to sleep. Ne ma. Ah, you say that like that. Ne ma kere ba nara nai. Is that correct, or do you use like another, like a different form of the verb for that? Like, do you take just take like, mm, or is it like with neru? Just ne nera I don't know. I actually don't know. I I, I knew, but I forgot. <laughs> Shrine, right? I don't really need the shrine because we have like 55 devotion points, but this is really like one of the cheaper shrines that you can still like take. Just like grab for the loot and experience. Um, there's just squishy. Like it's very fast leveling, but it's really, really a little bit squishy sometimes. Me and forgetting stuff in the patch notes, or does Santa forget to mention things? Yeah, like I didn't see that change either. I just realized, like, when I did these runs, um, and the current patch, and like the ultimate ones at least. Um, I think elite ones and normal ones are the same, but I think they change ultimate ones to basically have the same price as, as elite ones now. Um, which kind of makes sense because like literally no one was using ultimate shrines because they were like way too expensive, right? Uh, but yeah, I didn't see that documented anywhere, so I guess then I just forgot. And it has to be like I don't know, like patch 1.1.4.2 or the one before that. Like it was not. And 1.1.4.0, I think. 
It was either with the like 4.1 or 4.2 patch. Maybe it's just a bug and they're like gonna increase the cost again? I don't know. Maybe. Let's hope not. Anyway, we need... Yeah, we need Ascension now, right? Dune Fiend set is still weak. Yeah, Dune Fiend set is still weaker than Venom Blade for sure. I mean, you either go like full Venom Blade set, if you want like a strong Dervish, you go like full Venom Blade, right? Or you go for like Double Misery and Shattered Ram set. Kind of a. like the, the, the Bird of Rain showed the other day. Mm, but my build is gonna be like a beam build anyway, right? <laughs> I'm a Russell Shield Burst. It's gonna be dope, but neither. It's not gonna be a good build, but it's gonna be a fun one. Like, if you want to do a good Venom Blade, like, I like a good Dervish build, just go like full Venom Blade. It's way better. True power. All of this. Please don't hurt me. No, 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 no. I'm just gonna smack. Yeah, if you are like below 80% Aether resistance on ultimate, have fun. So yeah, we did this one, um, oh yeah, we did this one as well, right? Yep. We did this as well. And we did this. So an ultimate. Mm, I prefer to not kill him. Because... Well, say you want to actually farm... Cronley's... Gang uh, infamy, right? Then you will have like an additional boss to kill in Kronde, like in Kronde's dungeon. But if you kill him here, then he won't spawn in Kronde's dungeon, right? So it's better to not kill him if you want to like farm reputation or like the infamy rather. Oh wait, incorruptible? Give me that. <laughs> uh, I mean, we, we would need this later, but we don't need it now, right? Yeah, no, we don't need it now, actually. No. <laughs> we would need this later. But I'm not gonna use like a 6, like level 80 version, uh, level 80 belt later, right? It's not gonna happen. That could lie down. Okay. So what about... That was crossing. We are actually revered already, so we can just use new augments here. Um, so we want to use what is it called again? Survivor's perseverance, right? The two. And actually, we are like at ten overcap here now, so we could use like one ingenuity here instead. Right? Just yeah, that seems good.
I'm just gonna talk to him and that's it. Let's do that some like additional experience here. At least I have the enough scrap for this bridge. Yeah, for Act 2 we gotta check out our pierce resistance. We have 78%, which means we're taking 10% more damage than we would we had like only we had 80% pierce, right? So even though we're only missing 2%, that's actually like 10% more damage, right? But it should be fine. Oh, what? Oh my god, we were farming torches again. Yeah, like, don't kill him. Usually you shouldn't kill him. <laughs> oh, my fucking does up so many times recently. I'm... What the fuck? He died again. Oh, well. Whoops. Okay, let's at least not fuck this one up. So... We're not gonna take the bribe and also not kill him. It's like the best way to do it, to handle it. Unless you're like speedrunning. Like not speed leveling, but speedrunning. It's just, you said, well, it's not legal in Germany, but it's legal in other countries. Oh, whoops. Maybe I should have killed like the elites before actually clicking the shrine and spawning even more elites. Uh, that would have been safer at least, I guess. demands irrational choices. I guess I'm... Uh, oh my god. Also like... Meleeing a scared Skeletral Gargantium with low card status. Oh so. <laughs> okay, yeah, the troll is also gonna be fun. Troll in Act 2. Or like, both trolls actually. Like the, the gatekeeping troll of before Act 3 and... the rampaging troll in Act 2. But yeah, main reason I went here is not only because of the shrine, but also because of this one-shot chest, which, well, probably would have like a 100% chance to drop a legendary if I opened this one at like level 94 or higher. Since I'm level 80, I guess I got unlucky. <clears throat> and yeah, usually on ultimate you should save your one-shot chests for level 84. So, I uh, like 94, so don't, um, don't like, uh, open them before 94, actually. Hey, Enfield, how are you doing, man? Did I eat before the stream? <laughs> Not that much. That's why I'm eating these nuts now. I hope you guys don't mind.
Like I did eat a little bit, but not that much. Mostly because I actually like forgot to to go and buy some stuff. Like I, sh I should have, or like could have, and should have just went to like a supermarket after university. But I just forgot, <laughs> and I was home, and I was like, "Well, there's no bread left," and uh, well, kind of too lazy to go out again. So I guess I'm just gonna eat like cheese without bread, or like. Stuff like that, you know. Let's get the shadow strike here. Mm -hmm. Flying night blades. At least have some wine with the cheese. <laughs> I prefer to not like drink any alcohol at least during the week. Like I don't drink much in general, but I try to keep it at zero during the week for sure. in the city and wait for the period, but... What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, oh. Do you mean because of the wine or because of me not drinking anything during the week? Uh, no updates, no. I mean... We're gonna get updates in two weeks on Monday, right? On the 4th of November is gonna be like the next Grimace Adventure. So we will have like, yeah, almost two weeks of nothing. Until then. I guess. Yeah, I really like the green colors as well. Green acid colors. They're awesome. Oh my god. Should not have charged it enough. But that's fine. Let's go back and talk to this guy here. Or nay. Because otherwise he might like ask me to kill Cronley even though I already killed Con Cronley, so. It's like one of the um, one of the few one of the few or like one of the only quests that you can't really do in advance from my experience at least. Because like the chance of it being like bugged or something. Or like not counting towards your progress is pretty high.
good, please. Ah, oh, what the? There we go. And oh yeah, the rampaging, rampaging ghoul. Uh, not ghoul, but troll actually. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a can I dodge it or not? Can I just yeah? I mean. I would have dodged his slam anyways, but I just killed it before he was able to hit me with the slam. What shit the boards though? Yeah, the boards are also really. <laughs> uh, they can heal like. They can dish out like huge, huge amounts of damage, right? Uh, wait, no Master of the Pit? He's bad man. Billy is dead. I mean, uh, Boris. It was because of the wine. Uh, I don't know, some wines are pretty nice though. Especially like with cheese, like wine with cheese. And okay, if you like only drink wine and nothing else, then it might turn into a bomb. Yeah, but... Some wine every now and then is okay. We actually didn't get like the scary elites here, right? We didn't get Hudson Fury and we didn't get uh at least not yet, maybe they're like inside the cave here, right? Inside crown this hideout. There are like one or two elites that are like really scary. At least when you're like leveling with zero armor and <laughs> zero physical resistance. Annals of Alcovia. Rene, you, you useless traitor. Oh no, worthless traitor. Oops. Over two, 2k hours and I still don't know the, the voice lines exactly. The correct voice lines. I mean, they're, they're not voice lines because there's no voice actually reading them out. So, what are they? I don't, I don't like... Muted voice lines. By the way, Chad, what do you think about me doing a build for every single class in the game? Is like an idea? On like how to proceed with like which builds to do next. Like we 
we do, we're not gonna do like builds like classes that I've already done. Honey breaks Molten is like a little bit. Oh, that's okay. I mean, some of them are gonna be a little bit tedious to level, like, Battle Mage, I guess. But, I mean, everything is possible in this game, so... Hello, Igor. How are you doing? <clears throat> That was actually a really fast chronicle, right? Like, single target on dervishes is insane. It's like, pretty good on any night play, to be honest. Not only dervishes. <laughs> Do a damage over time chaos build, kappa. <laughs> I said class is not impossibilities. Single masteries as well? Uh, I don't know about single masteries. I mean, it can be done as well, but that's, that takes like even more time. And like, it's gonna be not that easy on hardcore actually. I'm not sure if I wanna do that. No, like classes like, like dual mastery, all combinations. I mean, I have quite a lot of them already, but definitely not all of them. Finished game with a single monster, then choose a secondary monster two birds with one stone. Finished game in ultimate with two, only one monster. Uh, or like in normal or later only. I don't know, if I, if I want to play something tedious, I'm just gonna like play Flaming Skeletons again, right? Like, I don't even need single mastery, I just play Flaming Skeletons if I want to like slow... Or like, I play no masteries, right? I play no mastery challenge. If I want to play something like slow and tedious. Or Crucible. Crucible? You mean like leveling and Crucible to 100? Or finishing Gladiator? 117 crucible with one mastery. Just do something you don't enjoy, I like what? <laughs> I don't know, that seems a little bit counterproductive. Yeah, yeah, like, like leveling single mastery in Crucible is probably gonna be like the most unenjoyable thing for me ever.
I mean, I'm fine with like single mastery up to like level 50, for example. That's no problem. But up to 100? I don't know. Like, you don't even get like an achievement for that. Like, at least for like no masteries, you get like a. Yeah. Well, not really an achievement, but you got like. What are the. Like an item, right? That's at least kind of worth it to do it. When I finish all the combos, start modding a new combos. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I have like. I would have like more than enough classes and content to do until that happens, you know. Like, you don't even have to mod this character, like, this game. Uh, like, the next the thing is, like, next patch and next dungeon. I'm gonna lose some characters, right? Like, like I don't know which bosses to face there, and some of them might kill me, some of them, like, might kill some of my characters, right? So, yeah. <laughs> That's gonna happen, right? But yeah, the Grimmeridian mod, for example, pretty nice. The one that uh, Pew Square was playing like some other day, right? We have like the Diablo 3 and also the Titan Quest Masteries implemented into the game. Pretty nice, pretty nice mod. Ascension, right? And then one point into Haven. That's like two percent HP, right? Yeah, they are. Like five out of whatever. That's a pretty nice sweet spot as well. Yeah, Dover's just a pretty nice fast moving character. Like you can like use Shadow Strike, Chaos Strike, Virus Smite. <laughs> it's pretty mobile. Or like Shadow Strike, Virus Smite and whatever third um, movement augments you prefer. Like in the end game you should definitely use um, the teleport one, right? Like displacement or whatever it's called. For leveling, like Chaos Strike is okay.
No, I, I also I would also try to go for like different themes as well. Like for example, I wouldn't try to like make five Ultos builds, right? That would be kind of boring. Like Ultos Water, Ultos Elementalus, Ultos Conjurer, Ultos Vindicator. No, <laughs> that's uh, <laughs> no, no. I would try to do like uh, like if I die, do like I don't know Ultos build on one class. I would not try to like I would try to not use Ultos on like any other class after that. So. For example, if I go like Ultos Water, I would maybe do like Knights Defender Vindicator instead, for example. Right. Like maybe the same damage type, but like a different playstyle, like different set, different active abilities, stuff like that, you know. Play some Tetris here again. I'm gonna go back and sell here at the next portal. Really need some space. Let's check out this one. What is the superior of Lacrity? Nope. That's not what you need on that one. Wait, another one. Boy Touch of Thunder? Nope. Like Watch Seal is a good one. We're gonna keep this blue one. And then for Silver Sentinel, you kind of want to check out Physical resistant, Resistance. I believe 5% is pretty good, so we're gonna keep it. Okay. A little bit more on the Crucible. <laughs> Yeah, Crucible is actually not that easy. Crucible might be boring sometimes, but it's... It's also pretty nice, yeah. Which is why I can understand why people like enjoy it. Even though I don't enjoy that that much. Um, oh yeah, we can like blow up these legendaries now right, that I don't need. So I'm just doing this because I don't need these. If you want to use them for whatever reason, feel free to. Actually, I didn't find like too many. Okay, let's go on. Elite? No, this is actually level 84 one. Give me a second here.
All right, sorry. Um, so I'm back. Killing Hilda elites with the dot cutter is the hard side. On the hard side, the uh, yeah. That is true. I think I'm gonna blow these up as well. Like elemental resistance doesn't seem like something that I would like to have while leveling. But I would be likely to need while leveling. Hmm. Yes, resistance on the other hand is pretty good. Maybe I should actually use these instead of white steel. Maybe I should, right? Yeah, these seem better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My chaos on the Aether is like exactly 80%. This will be fun. Uh, would I ever use this for leveling? Probably not, right? Would I ever use this for leveling? Maybe. Um, this one also... Probably, but I think I have one already in my stash, so... Whatever, you can find this while leveling anyway. Uh, Corvin Worm. While leveling. Maybe for like a two-handed range water. Would I play that? Even if I would probably not level like that, right? I have 48 hours. <laughs> cool. Um. Oh yeah, we go back to Arcovia and also we use another experience potion. Here we go. Oh. Just gotta show her the text, right? And also, there's one more quest we can like cash in on, which is over here. Why does it show me that's marked? It's weird. Oh yeah, I do want to use something though for more gloves, right? Probably want more... Um, I don't know, do I need more life steel? Not really, right? What do I want on my gloves? Maybe I want more attack speed? I guess I need more attack speed. Right? Attack speed is pretty low, so I want to use Consecrated Wrappings here. I think from now on we just continue to put our pawns into two blades. Get more physical resistance, right? Like from now on the goal is just to survive up until like 94. Like damage should be good enough. 
So we just need to focus on like how to make ourselves ca more tanky. Um, like this one gives you only like 1% HP per point, so that's kind of bad. Like after 5 out of 10. We have Ascension maxed out. We could like put more points here for more damage, but as I said, I don't really need more damage right now. Did you make a build with 200% attack speed before? Um, yeah, yeah, like usually it's pretty common with Nightblades to get like 200% attack speed actually. Like whenever you're dual building, it's Kinda what you always should like aim for. I don't know, did my Pierce Blade Monster have 200%? I don't quite remember, maybe it had like 180 or 180, 90%. But he definitely had some procs that when they proc, it would have like 200%. Alright, this guy. We're gonna have to like dodge again his uh, slams, right? Like this one, right? You gotta dodge it. And the second one is... I mean, you should also dodge it, to be honest. Try to dodge his slams and then you're fine. You don't need any more or physical resistance. For example, this Blade Master had. Is it attack speed? 195% attack speed, right? And with procs like. 200% with 47% over max. I mean, obviously, not all of those procs will like proc at the same time. And also, sometimes you're gonna be slowed by like debuffs, right? So that's pretty good. For example. Just don't get hit, exactly, rule number one. I mean, you can find that build on YouTube or on, like, in my Google Docs as well. Kinda have low DA and OA actually, like look at us, we're getting crit actually, what the? Hmm. This is not good. We need to work on our DA and OA, right? Maybe we don't, but... Hmm. It's like fine against non-elites, I guess, but against elites it might be too low. The values might be too low. Shrine can be a little bit scary, so I kind of only wanted to fight them when I had Ascension up. Mm. 
revere with the Coven of Ogdenborg. So once I'm in Hotstead, I wanna change around my Augments right, to get me more OA and DA in the long run. King Leaves. <laughs> oh wait, Circus of Founder. Oh, Circus of Founder. We found the Founder. There we go. Oh yeah, yeah like uh, last stream and like in la last Kerplunk stream, um, I found about I, I found out about Founders, and I was asking myself like, wait, who's a Founder in my stream? Uh, well, now we know at least one of them. Uh, so Founder means like that's a kind of a new Twitch feature, right? Um, like the first 10 people that have ever subbed me have like this founder badge now. So you're like officially one of the first 10 people that have ever subbed to me. That's why I have the founder's badge. So yeah, like the first 10 people that ever sub to a affiliate get the founder's badge, and like I believe the first 25 people that sub to a hard note streamer get like the same one as well. Just like the only difference between partners and affiliates is that partners can have 25 founders and affiliates can have 10 founders. But I mean, there's like not really anything to it except for like. That you know, a founder and that like everyone else knows. Well, okay, this guy is like one of the OG supporters, you know. That's basically it. I don't. At least for now, there's like there are like no benefits for founders to be a founder. Maybe that's gonna change soonish. I don't know. No idea. You gotta do raking every day in your uh, yard. I mean, at least you have a yard. Selling these, by the way. Don't sell clubs. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get, use this one instead of the empiric one, I guess. Even though the empiric one has like lots of life steal. We should still have enough life steal though, right? Also, that's like just straight up more damage, right? What is a wildfire? I don't know that's like some kind of. Rare suffix, I guess. Uh, yeah. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna do uh, like a small switcheroo when it comes to... Augments? Question mark? Well, maybe not yet.
Maybe not the other. Some of the fire gets converted to acid, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. flat fire here. Yeah. True. True, true. That's gonna be level 26 here. Poison of Corrosion. Interesting. Uh, I mean, it's not better than ERF one, but it's worse than a Ganar Vakar, obviously. So wait, off wildfire gives you like fire damage, right? And attack speed. Fire damage, attack speed, casting speed, I guess as well. I like fire burn damage. Yeah, that's pretty good. Poison of electricity would also be decent. My HP bar is like a roller coaster on it. But, I mean, as long as we just keep on attacking, we're fine. Right? Like, keep on attacking against weaker enemies and, like, just don't get hit against bigger enemies, I guess. So we roll. the entrance. Oh, there it is. Perfect. <laughs> Alright. Enjoy your food, Billy.
I'm gonna do a full clear actually here. Um, we don't have to, but... I mean, you always need better shells, right? And this area is like probably the best area to farm better shells. So... Might as well just do a full clear here. What do you guys think about Manticore on S Poison Bolts now? I feel like they're only good, f like Manticore is only good for Poison Castles, right? Because for like Acid, Melee Bolts that need Attack Speed and Lifesteal. I mean Revenant has Attack Speed and Lifesteal, right? And it just fits better into the Devotion, so I don't know. Revenant is so strong, it's crazy. I just wanted to get here demos of Hungering Rifts. Hungering Rifts is like a rare suffix, right? Nani? Yo, Circle! Thank you so much for giving Benin a sub. Thank you so much for that, man. Much appreciated. Where the fuck is my goddess ring? Hello? Oh, there it is. Demos of Hungering Rifts. Uh, Hungering Rifts gives me what? Bleeding resistance? That's something we don't really need. Ah, it's useless. Oh, yeah, yeah, true. the remote guy can't use his own emotes. Yeah, that would be kind of his bad man, right? <laughs> oh, that. Don't die, though.
get some cash on the card I don't use. <laughs> oh, good Dreaded man, you deserve it. You deserve it, man. Like, if anything, I should probably give you a sub, to be honest. I should do that next month, actually. And copy Kerplunk. <laughs> oh yeah, right, he gave you a sub as well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man, you're like a... Like a guy that people want to give subs to, I guess. Because you're such a nice person. Wait, why did Kerplunk again like give you a sub? Because he wanted you to use his emotes as well, right? Emotes as well. I guess. I don't know. But Kerplunk needs like... Wait, we have to ask Kerplunk how many more subs he needs to like unlock another sub... Um, like another emote thing, right? Like uh, another emote uh, spot. Slot? Slot, there we go. Because then finally we tier 1 subs can also use at least two emotes of, uh, of this. In his? I don't know man, English is hard. English is hard sometimes, especially when you're like trying to die here. Alright, we got the ascension up, well, let's just keep on attacking while we have ascension up, right? Not gonna hurt us while we have ascension, easy clap. Yeah, it's actually a rather smooth uh, kill on the queen, actually, like my death knight had more problems against her. Then again, like death knight, force wave, was like better AoE but worse single target and also, I mean, he was tankier than this character. Are you kidding me? I wanna pick this one up, please, thank you. Oh, for oops. Um Yeah, right, let me Do you play Tetris here again or I guess you can play a little bit of Tetris here. A little bit at least. Oh guillotine actually, that's a good weapon. Uh, that Kerplank wall face is so good. <laughs> Dude, he's like such a good like um like he's an IRL memer dude. Like his mimics are on point. Hey Karania, how are you doing? Welcome. Flash sharks are scary, man. I kinda didn't want to use Ascension there, because I kinda want... Oh, never mind, there's like a bit here anyway that I have to kill first. It's, that's fine, I guess. Alright, uh, let's disable the items here. Uh, let's fight this Abomination. I mean, Amalgamination. This should be a rather fast and quick fight, right? We have so much. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say like I'm gonna kill him before he starts like shooting those aether lasers, but or, like aether waves. That didn't quite work out as I planned it, but. Mm. 
Oh yeah, he would be a great dad. I think so too. Definitely. Blind Assassin, pretty good uh, blue set. Should probably keep it. Five percent. Yeah, yeah, this was the one I had before. Right? Also keep this troll thingy. Yeah, the got of strings kind of. Eh. I don't know, I don't like Goddess Rings that much anymore. Ever since they introduced Living Rings and uh, like AOM, Goddess Rings became like 99% of the time just worse than Living Rings. And... Deja vu? Oh yeah, this character almost dying again. <laughs> yeah, uh, there is a little bit squishy. There is just a little bit squishy. But if you, if you play it right, it deals like a shit ton of damage and... Yeah. Can still go for like... Low card set all the way. Subjugators of the Void, that's a uh, terrible roll. We know this already, I guess we set it down. Let's put some items here, right? We need some more. So I'm gonna put all the I four items over here. Actually, no, I wanna make the club a relic right away, right? That way, it doesn't need. Like that way it doesn't take up that much space. Right? Go over here, craft a troll talisman, a misborn talisman. Like you don't need the clubs for anything else anyways. Unless you wanna wield them yourself. Oh, because of the Manticore Venom? Oh, come on. Really? Really? Uh, I guess we can, like, take out one of the Leo Vinus's rings, right? I think I have, like, way too many. Let me put those here, so we can. Let's get more physical resistance here. Uh, let's go for the next rift gate and back, then backtrack a bit. How was your early shift today? Irania. Back here to Devos. Um, get rid of the augment, right? So we get rid of this augment here. Keep this add on. And I guess we can dismantle this one, yeah. Wait, <laughs> a free ancient heart from the Avinus' ring? Okay, I'll take that. Seems good. <clears throat> Report to Barnabas here. Barnabas. And go over to Broken Health. Let's 
speak to what's her name? I don't know. She gives you like a attribute point right Minova. Go. All right. <clears throat> Oh wait, what? Oh, did I? Oh my god, okay, I fucked it up. Uh... Yeah, I guess I didn't. Okay, I can delete this anyways now. Oops, yeah. I thought I'd saved my changes that I'd like thought about at the start of the stream, but apparently I didn't, so... <laughs> Oops. Yeah, yeah, it's the same one, exactly. <laughs> Whoopsie daisies. Oh, yeah, Bobar, cool. Cool. Uh, this run in an ultimate, um, it's kind of expensive, right? Because you need to like give them a seal, and seals are like one of those components you actually want to like farm for. So you can like speculate on like maybe some items here. Let's just do it anyways. Well, this was not worth it. <laughs> Redeemer and Preserver and Exalted stuff. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, yeah, the farmers. Now we just need one more Insignia. And we're done, right? I get one over here. We well, can just proceed to the next rift gate. Probably even less physical resistance on my. Uh, <laughs> on <laughs> Maybe. I don't think so. Oh, yeah, no, it's like 1% less actually. Because the one I showed you, or like the one that you see right now, has 20%, right? Uh, the new one is gonna use Jackal instead of Sator's Guide, and Jackal has like 1% less physical resistance, so yeah, it's like 19%. Oh, Karschnitzel? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, uh, Guten Appetit, I guess. I don't have a schnitzel commando, I only have a uh, pizza. Pizza! What's your blood in the blood grove? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah, I don't want to die in the Blood Grove, right? but the thing is, I'm already done with Blood Grove, basically. I'm not gonna die here, right? Oh, what the hell? Window sound. Sorry for that. Oh yeah, there's some uh, <laughs> some weird old uh, things actually in my commands. <laughs> Plasma saying the dawn doctor. I think that's actually me dying, but like no manual still making it through, right? Yeah. I think that was actually my, my first DK dying in that clip, if I remember correctly. Okay, that wrecked what a super old like I don't know. <laughs> That's like 2013 memes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's a real haha one. Yo, Exonius, how are you, man? Welcome to the stream. Like uh, that wrecked emote or like command is from like when I was playing Hearthstone. I like streaming Hearthstone actually. Which is like, I don't know, five years ago at least. Yeah, probably like five years ago. Yeah. Kinda doing Oslo's job today. Yeah, of course he is. <laughs> He's gonna tell Kerplank, well, there are like three more hours until you have to go to work, right? And then, like, I can't. Now it's two hours, by the way. Now it's uh, one hour and 25 minutes, by the way. Keep an eye out on your ascension here and try to not pull Zarya to cover over there. Oh, I guess I put her now. Alright, time for the most interesting fight of the year.
some good ones, some good of the, some good ones when it comes to the wrecked ones. I mean, yeah, some of them are still probably kind of funny, but most of it looks like, I don't know, 2013 memes and stuff like that. Uh, I don't wanna, yeah, like, whenever you're here in ultimate or, like, you don't wanna kill enemies that are over there, right? Because we still need them for, like, flying around, right? Later. Need them for the skipperoo. No, 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 we're not dying here. What are you doing, Boat? I don't want asset conversion for Ring of Steel. Maybe. Um, like, yeah, maybe. I want that model, right? Like, the model is pretty nice. The Ring of Steel conversion one. That is true. Um, I think it's, like, a little bit overrated, to be honest. And I think it's, like, only worth it if you have, like, a really nice one that has, like, good pre and suffixes. And I don't think I have one of the like one like that. I don't know. Maybe I should check. Um, but yeah, like if you have a good one, sure, use it. If you don't, it's not that important if you don't have it, right? Like Ring of Steel is like it's like 90 90 percent main hand main main hand damage, right? So we still do like more. Weapon damage done flat damage from this, I believe. Not quite sure, but I don't know. I don't think the conversion is super important unless you like wanna go and all in on Ring of Steel, which I don't really want to do. Like it's just gonna be like a one pointer in this build. So Yeah. But yeah, it is a good metal and you should use it if you have like like very good rolls, like very good pre and suffixes. But yeah, if you don't, then don't bother, in my opinion. Definitely need ascension against the second phase here. Alright. That was a pretty smooth kill time for leveling build, right? Yeah, yeah, like like the metal um is definitely a good one, Exonius. Like don't get me wrong, it's a good metal. Um But I think you need to have like good pre suffixes for it to be like better than lethal intents or stuff like that, right? Dive of Crust. Oh yeah, Dive of Crust is also pretty good RAM, that's true. That is true. But the thing is, I think I'm using it to like max out lethal assault actually. Because otherwise I don't have it maxed out. But then again, I know, I know, I could use like Santeran's shoulders instead for that. Instead of the Radagon's ones I'm using right now. Or like, that I will probably use later. I'm not quite sure if I have like good Santeran shoulders. And Radagon's, like resistances, like all of them are perfect actually. The stun, the aether, the elemental, all of it is perfect I think.
But yeah, you could use, for example, as Raina said, like Dive of Crest and then use Lethal Intent. Uh, and then use like Venturian Shoulders, I guess. Um, but I mean, I'm not getting any use out of the Weapon Pool skill of. Like, I, I won't, on my build at least, I won't get any benefit from Dive of Crest Weapon Pool skill. I mean, it's still a good metal even without that, but. I the poison freeze pretty strong at the moment. Uh, overall, I would say it's actually not that strong. No, it's like okay. But for example, fire is stronger, lightning is stronger. I would say pierce is stronger as well. Um, cold. A like cold was really strong for a long time. It was definitely stronger than acid for a long time as well. But right now, I don't know. Maybe it's like about the same. I think Code is also still stronger than Acid, right? Um, so we're only getting one point from level 91 on. Where do we put this? Like, we have to smack out anyway. Um, I guess we put this here now. For more resistance reduction. So we have to, like, re summon these every time I level up now, but it's kinda. But yeah, we gotta speak to. Creedon for the icon, right? And, uh, oh yeah, Cold is even better than Pierce. Yeah, yeah, I guess, yeah. Like, if there's anyone that knows stuff about Nightblades, it's Raynan. Like, I don't, I'm not that much of an Nightblade expert. I'm more a, like, making builds fly expert, as you can see here. Why was I getting Elemental Awakening over Consecration? Because Elemental Awakening gives me more Elemental Resistance. I just needed it for the Resistance. Like... What the hell, this is just such a bad skip. Are you kidding me? Play the match. What? Try to make it to the next portal here. Back here. And uh, yeah, let's do that again, right? Uh, yeah, like while leveling, I just wanted to like make sure to always have at least soft, ca like soft capped elemental resistances, right? Without our effort, so 80% exactly with pneumatic burst. That's why I have elemental awakening at 10 out of 12 right now. Otherwise, like in general, yeah, sure, Consecration is a better node, like on an Acid Dervish, like you don't need more than one point here usually, but you should rather put more points here. Part 2. It's kind of funny how my like, uh, Guardians and Dead Spirits are porting around, right? That's a good one. Perfect. Oh, we have, we have no amber? No amber? Uh, I guess I'm not going that, back for that. Like, we don't really need the shrine, right? Kind of too lazy to go back and craft it now. I don't need to. Let's just continue, you're done. Ender anymore. <laughs> I guess. Put the portal here, by the way.
Yeah, that might be true. I mean, I never had any embers, to be honest. Like, I was always out of embers. I stash. Even before whatever change happened. Like, even before the, like, partial component... Um, deletion basically happened, right? I, like, swapped out some of the partial components to not exist anymore. Yeah, like, it doesn't drop, but you could get it from, like... Yeah, as uh, Renin said, I think you could get it from some quests before. But now you can't anymore because they removed partial embers completely from the game, so... Oh, there's actually only three quests, not four, right? What am I saying? Check out the Wind Devil Horn, though. Uh, what is this? That's terrible. One more point. I guess we resummon the Guardians again. Now we're gonna walk back to this one, because we still have the portal up over here, right? And now we can just go directly down to the Tomb of the Archon. By the way, Raynan, how would you rate poison acid damage compared to, say, aether or chaos damage, right? Because, like, literally everything else is better, right? Like, fire is better, lightning is better, cold is better, pierce is better. Bleed is probably also better, actually, than acid poison, right? So there's only what's remaining, like, aether, chaos. Etc. Like as a like damage type in general at least. Oh no, I forgot about Vitality, but I said Pierce is like better than Acid for sure, and Vitality, yeah, Vitality is also like, Vitality is even better than Pierce. So yeah, it's also better than Acid. Like, maybe not for Night Blades, but in general, Vitality is a pretty strong uh, damage shot. Like, enemies are kinda high resistant to Vitality, but on the other hand, you can like, get so much more vitality resistance than say chaos resistance for example or like literally any other type of resistance yeah. like shaman alone has like what 60% vitality resistance on the Vorong swarm for example it's crazy oh come on why are you closing the door again hello Oh yeah, give me a good Markadar here, please. What do we need here? Frost. Glacial of Alacrity. Frost burn of what? Shattering? Searing of Thunder. Well, that's not what you want. What? Someone called me Keiko now. Keiko. 
Hmm. I wanted to ask uh, Raynan, but I don't know. Maybe he's like AFK or something. I don't. Know. What do you? What do all of you guys think about poison damage? Like where? Like compared to say Aether and Chaos, is poison acid better than Aether and Chaos or not? I think I would say it's better than Aether and Chaos, but like worse than literally anything else. No XP, damn. Okay. Uh, what else do we do here? We can't do like Hargate. Uh, Hargate is actually kind of a monk. Uh, Hargate is mostly ground damage though, like it doesn't really matter which gear you have, right? Uh, what the hell. But yeah, as always, I should conclude my 94 journey with... Um, Killing Lucius, right? Let's do that. How much acid poison? Yeah, I have my stats. Um, RF is 18, like 12 to 18k to damage total, right? And out of that, it's 6.7 to 12.8. So was that like 66% acid? Oh, and then like 2.5k poison top, so it's like, um, 75-ish percent, like 80 percent, I guess. Something like that, right? Poison Aether Chaos are evenly even for you. They're all just as bad. <laughs> like, I I'm not saying that like you can't make good poison or good uh, aether or good chaos spells. I'm just saying that like these damage types in general are like a little bit worse than the other types. Because either there isn't like like the top performing chaos builds are like worse than top performing, I don't know, fire or lightning builds, for example. Or because you can't like make that many builds with that type of damage, right? Alright, Lucius, here we go. Well, there are two abilities you definitely have to dodge. One is Meteors. Number two is... What is that gonna do? Okay, it's just gonna die. And he has like another shotgun which he didn't even use this time. But like whenever he does like either of those two attacks, he's gonna like raise his arm up, right? So you can kinda tell when he's gonna do it. But 
Wait, I'm actually out of experience potion for like the last two levels, are you kidding me? Alright, alright. So bad. Yo, Duck, how are you, man? Duck, Adam, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome back, thank you so much, much appreciated. How are you, man? How's life? Yeah, we got this quest to do as well, right? A bad mood? Wait, what? Why is that? Maybe you need to farm some blooms, man, and you're gonna feel, feel like a bloom. Feels bloom, man. I'm gonna kill her fast right before he, she like starts throwing down her meteors. Right. By the way, if you're like a new player, you shouldn't kill her. Probably. Like you just shouldn't. Like not on your first character at least. Oh wait, we're we revered here now? Nice, no, okay. Let me get like... Ah, that's not really worth it to change it around for like... Half a level right? No, we're not gonna do that, right? Hope I can like cheer you up a bit here in my stream. Molly. <laughs> Molly. I mean, at least I have good, right? Uh, yeah, I should not have eaten that fire shock. Like those fireballs, I guess. Well. I survived. Where's the music? I don't know. Oh yeah, by the way, um... If you found the diary... Act 3, right? Dahlia's diary. And you will have this ancient urn here. Uh, this will give you a item called Stormheart. What you need for the what, for secret quest, but I guess everyone knows about that one by now.
Yeah, we also got a hidden spoils chest here. Another legendary, nice, nice. Uh, I think this is it for now for this area. Like, I will have to go here later once I like the the Spain Gargoth quest. But for now, uh, I'm just hoping that this quest will just give me 94. And, uh, what the? Hell? I should do like Hargate's Isle then. I guess we're gonna do Hargate's Isle then. Oh no, the better shell. It's bad, man. Actually, we don't really have to like kill all of them here, right? We just should like rush for the boss here. And we don't need that much for now, next level. <clears throat> I have to go over here, right? Just keep on jumping. Level 94 hype. I mean, I'm gonna like, finish this quest though. We are almost there, anyways. Charon. I've no idea who Charon is, but I guess. Congrats. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Water. Rise. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, Alright, yeah, we're 94, so. This is gonna be the end of my Dervish 1 to 94 leveling stuff. Uh, for those of you watching from YouTube, thank you so much for tuning in. And yeah, see you guys in the next one as well.